my Home Depot. You were just there. I was just there. <laughs> yep, that's right. No Home Depot today. We have more important things to do. We are here at the MacDill Air Force Base. That's the entrance right there where all of these cars are heading into. Normally they can't. Normally this is, well, restricted area. But today we are going inside and it's for that reason. Not, not Tampa J, the sign. Air Fest. Airplanes, jets, things that fly in the sky. It has always been the dream of man to, and flightless birds everywhere to fly. Hello everyone, welcome Hello. and welcome back. That's right, we are at the MacDill Air Force Base here in here in Tampa. South Tampa, all the South way at Tampa. the end of the uh, Tampa Peninsula, right, right among Tampa Bay. Yep, and we are going to see an air show. It's called Air Fest. Tampa Bay Air Tampa Fest. Tampa Bay Air Fest, yep. And um, it's happening all weekend and today is Saturday, so I think it's the first day of the air yep. show. Um, the admission is free, the parking is free, so we were like, yeah, let's go check it out. It's free. It's free. And we get to go on a military base. <laughs> yeah, you don't get exactly. get to do that every day. So very excited yeah. about this, very excited to show you uh, what's going to happen here. We were just saying uh, in Jay's video that neither of us, I think, has ever seen an air show before. Nope, I've seen a lot of uh, airplanes. I've, yep, I've been seen on a lot, lot of airplanes, airplanes, but I've never actually seen a show. Yeah, exactly. So this is going to be a very new experience for both of us. I'm very, very excited. And the most important thing is that we're vlogging together, together. again. Together. Yeah, it's been a while. We're going to head inside now. The, uh, the line is already building yeah. up to get inside of the Air Force Base. So let's head inside. Let's yeah, get let's this air it. show started. To infinity and well, beyond. It starts at noon, but yeah, we well, we're, we're gonna get it started. We're yeah, gonna, we're gonna get in there. Let's let's fly. Yeah, let's, let's go to move. the danger zone, as they say. Yeah, it does look like a danger zone. Yeah, oh, Can't it does gonna let us in here. Yeah, I know. I'm excited. <laughs> as we are waiting in line, you can kind of see out there. There's a huge line of people waiting to get in and to park, and we're in line right now. Um, I wanted to say uh, thank you so much to Steven for sponsoring this video's coffee. I really appreciate it. Thank you for uh, your support of the channel. And I also wanted to say welcome aboard to some new coffee buddies. Uh, I have Emily and Jerry and Tammy. So thank you all so much uh, for coming aboard the team. And um, thank you all for supporting the channel, for being coffee buddies. So cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. It's a really beautiful day out here in Florida today. It should be a high in like the upper 70s, clear skies. It's like perfect the perfect day to be looking up into the, into the skies to see what we can find. So again, while we're sitting here uh, in traffic waiting to park, and now it's becoming clear that like half of both of our footage is going to be us waiting to park. <laughs> <laughs> I might but, edit it down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll edit it down a tiny bit. <laughs> as fascinating as this is, I thought maybe it might be a good opportunity to just say that um, air shows aren't necessarily my thing, but I'm really excited to try something new, first of all. And um, again, like check out the Air Force Base and like look around a bit, see all the airplanes. I don't know if I've seen an airplane like up really, really close before. You're gonna see some big ones today. This is a way to start that out. Yeah. It's awesome, I'm so excited for it's, you. It's a really cool opportunity. And again, it's a free event. And um, you know, I, I mentioned this to, to Tampa J the other day um, because I was like hearing the jets like practicing like all week and it was really yeah. loud. So I mentioned it to, to Jay and that there was an air show this weekend and I, I saw I saw your eyes like light, light up, up. <laughs> and it was like it, oh no <laughs> well, lot, I, you confirmed it because a lot of people were like you going to the air show and then when you yeah. said that I'm like we're going to the air show yeah yeah exactly <laughs> so I wanted to do something that that Jay would really really like oh thank um, you and we haven't vlogged together again in in a for a few uh for, for a, a few, few videos few videos yeah we're so, back it's a really cool, cool thing for us to, I love you. We're to back. do together. Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited <laughs> about that. And I'm sure a lot of viewers out there will appreciate seeing this stuff. 
too. So, okay. Anyway, wait in the park. Yeah. So this whole like base has like pretty much everything that you kind of need. Cause you just said there was a Firestone over there. There's, there's a, a Burger King. There's a gas station. There's a Firestone, yeah. which I used to deliver auto parts. Uh -huh. There's a Burger King. I used to eat lunch when I deliver the parts. And there's the the PX over there, which okay. is like. It's got a grocery, like a store, grocery store and uh -huh. also like a, it's basically like a Walmart super center. They've got all kinds of stuff in there. Like I bought a fishing pole in there one time. Huh. Yep. That's interesting. Yeah. I, I honestly didn't really. If you really know someone that can get you on base, that. you're free to spend your money here. Cool. Tax, tax free. Okay. Yeah. This shows you how much I know. <laughs> like I seriously don't know anything about this kind of stuff. It's pretty interesting. I wanted to show the lake out here. It's pretty. It's nice. Yeah. We they've, found, we found nature. I found birds. They've got a golf course and a campground on this base. Too. Oh. That is facet. That's actually really fascinating. And a bowling alley. That's coming out very sarcastic, but that is legitimately a bowling alley, a gym, a swimming pool. They also, look, that's the line that we were just in. Again, just kind of inching our way forward, waiting to park. But this has been really, uh, really cool so far. We've got ducks. Quack. Ducks. Quack. They're sleeping. Quack. Bye, ducks. Quack. Finally parked along with everybody else and as you can see in front of us we've already got some planes so it's uh it's delivering on the aircrafts at least at this <laughs> point so that's quite nice and uh, it looks like everybody is lining up right there right over there right over there up towards the top of the line they are checking bags up there so that's why it's been taking so so long and i think it's only appropriate since i don't have very good signal out here and we're going to an air show to put my phone in airplane mode oh that's a good idea eh? Eh? airplane mode you get it all right we finally made it inside just in time for things to happen it's just a little bit past noon so we've uh Opening ceremonies are happening probably right now. This stuff is happening in the sky right now. Very cool. So let's just take a look at what we got here. There's actually a child registration booth over there that just kind of tells you how many people are out here. Looks like they have a giveaway for, or not a giveaway, but a drawing for a car. That's pretty cool. I bet Jay will want to do that. They've got some refreshment stuff out here as well. I see lemonade, lemonade and dipping Dots over there. They got a refreshment stand here so you can uh, get some snacks. And the parachuter people are uh, coming down out of the sky now. It's just like flopping in the air like a fish. That's terrifying. I guess he's got a lot of faith in Oh my gosh. Wow. out here I'm noticing I saw pizza back that way hot dogs there's like cheese steaks over there ice cream all kinds of stuff so I'm actually very impressed with that thankfully they have uh, provided some signs in front of the planes so we can fight well I can at least figure out what I'm even looking at which is pretty cool but I think we're gonna wait in line for this one it's not too bad of a line and uh, hey been waiting in line all morning, so what's a what's another line? You're getting situated. I'm holding your camera. Situated, yep. I was about to say, did you know you're using my camera, not your camera? Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoops, my bad. <laughs> Getting very, very close to finally hopping aboard. And I think it has been taking so long because it looks like they're actually letting people sit in the cockpit, which is really, really cool. Yeah, I'm very excited for that. But I can see like there's a line inside of there people waiting to to take a sheet in there probably be helpful to mention that this is what we are about to climb aboard on this guy here okay here we go up the steps 
Cool. Going inside of the plane now. Huh. This is cool. Neat. Use the seats? Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, I'll test it out. Oh, yeah. It's all a right. seat, all right. Parachute over to the right. You strap that on. There. I'm going to pass on that one, though. <laughs> There's the outside. Look at all the people in the fresh air. Oh, I miss it. What's really neat is here is the door for the emergency oh, exit, which is right here. Yep. It's pretty bananas. That's the door. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, so if you want, you can Okay. Okay, so I'm going to refuel the plane. This is a bad day yeah. for flip flops. Okay. Yep, oh, so right here cool. is where you control the actual boom down here, this thing. Uh huh. This window opens up so you can see them a lot better than that normally. Okay. That yeah. controls the telescoping mechanism. There's a pole inside the, the boom that you've probably seen on the back. Uh huh. And that's how you actually, once they get close, you stick that pole out into their receptacle. Wow. That way you can get connected cool. with them and give them gas. This is bananas, yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> this is right. so crazy. Is it uh, usually air conditioned down here or no? Uh, no. Well, is it pretty hot? Air. Does it get, or actually, you're in the air? Absolutely freezing. Freezing? Up there okay. So the heat is yeah. all the way up there. Uh huh. So it does not make it down here. You'd be shocked. The difference in temperature from up there. Like, yeah, okay, interesting. I don't know why my mind went there, but good to know. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Okay, now to get back up. Oh, yeah. What did you think of that? That was uh, insane. Yeah, that was really cool. Get to do that. Yeah, me either. I had no idea. Can you imagine fueling a plane 30,000 feet above the air? It's bananas. Miles per hour. Just bananas. Gallons of jet fuel. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. Now that we went into the back of the plane where the fuel thing is, now we are waiting in line to fly the actual plane. We're gonna actually fly it. We're gonna take off. Yeah. We have the privilege to actually fly this thing. Mm -hmm. So that'll be cool. Stay tuned for that. That's a lot. <laughs> Once again, a peek of the outside. This is actually a door, an emergency exit. Just looking out, seeing all the people who are who are free to roam around in the fresh air. It's a wing of the plane, by the way. It's quite a large, quite a large wing. I don't see any gremlins, thankfully. No William Shatner either. tent out here which is a great idea Disney and other theme parks take note that would be excellent fully capable to do all ship to shore transportation has a seven hour range of the water so we can do complete over the horizon sea transport in addition to that also do 300 miles of range on land. Uh, it gets about 45, 50 miles an hour on land, 8, 10 miles an hour in the circuit. Tampa J is up in the turret section now. That's his knees. Yes, sir, oh, it's coming down now. We're gonna do this. Real. Okay. Oh gosh. This is crazy. If I knew that I was gonna be climbing into crap today, I would have worn very different clothes. I had to take my stuff off because I was getting caught on stuff. There's so many things you can get caught on. Oh, okay. We're out. Look, this is the view from up top. Neat. Very cool. Yeah, this is the uh, the inside. I don't know what you're doing here, but uh, there you go. Okay, now the fun part: getting down without dying. Okay, and there you go. That again was what we were just in. I don't know what it is, but we were sure inside of it. Tampa J's um, 
some uh, soda while he waits in line to uh, check out the cockpit of the F-16. So, walking around trying to find the soda spot. I'm having a really good time, again, not being like a, you know, this kind of not really being my thing, more or less. But it's really cool to be able to like actually go inside some of these things and like check it out. It's really cool. Uh, so yeah, having, having a good time. There's been a lot of lines for stuff, so I'm feeling a little antsy. So I was like, please let me go. Please let me go do, do something, walk around, go get you a soda. So I'm very happy to do this. And we're getting closer to where the actual airplanes are uh, taken off, which is really neat. So, okay, soda time. some food I got in order of fries this little thing five dollars holy moly oh well and I also got a diet Pepsi for Jay so walking back to where he is in line be interesting to see his uh, his progress as a hot dog as a walking hot dog air show who knew <laughs> that Pepsi treating you? Pretty good, thank you. You're welcome. Delicious, the fries were good too. Yeah, the fries were really good. that uh, Tampa J is gonna get a lot more of the planes and the vehicles that are out here give a lot more of the history and all of that stuff because you know this is more his jam than it is my jam so just uh, throwing that out there you want more more info on the actual stuff that <laughs> we're looking at <laughs> uh, make sure you check out this guy's this guy's video. Yeah! <laughs> There's some Jeeps up here. This is pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of uh, the Indiana Jones ride over at Disneyland. Oh yeah, that's right. Everything reminds me of Disney. Everything. Even these army, army vehicles. Looks like we got some robot action going on out here. These small children on the left are Having a lot of fun with these robots. Woo, look at him go. Don't go any further, don't go any further. You're outside of the bounds. There it goes, there it goes. Woo. That was a close one, oh man. I think I'm gonna, I'm very close to getting run over here. This is really cool, a huge helicopter. The huge propellers on the side here, holy moly. It almost looks like a, uh, almost looks like a submarine or something here. Like I'm getting like Nautilus vibes from it. Oh yeah, that's right, going back to Disney again. Lots and lots of uh, helicopters out here, army stuff, very, very cool, but more importantly, bounce houses and those are like really legit looking bounce houses we're gonna get closer in just a second but I also happen to look up and notice there's more uh, stuff going on in the sky yeah more uh, parachute people with uh, orange stuff coming out of them that's neat Get them go. Oh man. Yeah, that's, that's definitely something you will never ever catch me doing. I don't even want to go in the bounce house. The bounce house would make me sick, let alone, let alone something like this. No, I don't know what that is. Right there, it looks like a giant spider and all of the children are like hanging off of its little legs. 
But that's uh, that's pretty bananas. Okay, we're gonna get up closer. Woo! There they go. Down for a hopefully safe landing. Yeah. Now, folks, if you thought the lines to check out the helicopters and all of that stuff was bad, the line for the bounce houses is infinitely worse. So it looks like we got one that is NASA based. It's got a cool uh, space shuttle on there. That is awesome. And the other ones look like they are Blue Angel themed, which the Blue Angel should be here at this air show. I bet they're saving them for last. Very cool. That's a that is adorable. That one is a huge plane, a huge fat Blue Angel plane. Cute. And also the bouncy thing for the children, that huge uh, spider looking bounce thing. These uh, children are bouncing off of. Very neat. So lots of fun stuff for the, for the kiddos as well. So these are jumpers that jumped out of the plane that everyone was looking at a second ago. Apparently they are all holding hands right now, which is adorable. And they're flying, falling towards the ground quite readily. Oh, there, I see, an, I see a parachute now. There we go. Cool. There you go. Parachutes ahoy. Give it up for your United States Special Operations Command Parachute Team, the Paracommandos. Pretty cool stuff if you ask me. We're making our way back kind of the way that we came. We walked all the way to the edge of the air show and now we're walking back that way. We just uh, heard an announcement saying that the Blue Angels will be flying in about 20 or so minutes. So we're just kind of meandering down a pathway here and uh, seeing what else we can see. There's a whole section like way over there that we haven't even uh, we haven't even looked at yet. So a lot of a lot of walking today, a lot of waiting in line. Um, but it's been really fun, like I keep saying. And um, definitely crowded, but it's so helpful that this whole area is very expansive and uh, so it doesn't feel like claustrophobic, which is which is really nice. I'm closer now to the main area of the air show here. I can get a little close to some of these planes here and the Blue Angels just right over there. And there's where like the, uh, the people, the film crew and whatnot are hanging out right up there. And uh, definitely a little bit more crowded over in this section. It's the Blue Angel. Everybody's standing up and waving. We think these are the Blue Angels. I'm pretty sure those are the Blue Angels. Nice. This long line here, everybody is waiting for for a beer, a brewski, and it's interesting because it's coming directly out of this truck. This whole truck is filled with beer. This is probably going to be the closest that we can get to the Blue Angels. They have saved the choicest spots, the choicest seats where you have to pay extra. It's for the flight line. Crowd. Yeah. We're to, not uh, of the flight line. Crowd. To, to, yeah. So they're <laughs> they're way up close, sitting in some nice seats, and they're able to uh, view the the Blue Angels right up close. We're going to take a look at the rest of the planes on this section, on the far section of the air show that we haven't seen yet, and then zip back to the car. <laughs> watch them from there because they're gonna be up in the sky so there's not really any point to be here when they're yeah they're viewable from from my car um, so that is the plan and mostly just because we don't want to get caught in a ton of traffic once I think once the Blue Angels are done I think it's pretty much done donezo here so we're gonna try to sneak out of here Quick. Wowee, yeah, this is a huge, huge plane up here. And uh, I guess I'm assuming it's like a cargo plane, big enough so things can uh, drive up inside of its uh, humongous mouth. But it's really cool because like the, the cockpit is right up top there. And I see people again hanging out on top of the cockpit. So yeah, that's 
that is something else. And a rarity for this one, there actually isn't a line to go inside of it. So I think we're gonna we're gonna walk right on in here. Right up this huge, huge ramp. Huge. Yeah, it is. Whoa. Okay. All right. Whoa. Okay, all right. There we go. Yeah, we weren't allowed to film inside of the aircraft and do specific stuff, so we just kind of walked through, took some photos in there. It was really neat. Pretty much just walking through a, through a tunnel. Everything reminds me of a spaceship, I have to admit. I guess too many sci-fi, seen too many sci-fi movies. And apparently this plane's name is Travis. Travis. Travis the plane. Hello, Travis the plane. He's a big, big boy. I think, I think we have actually walked almost every single inch of this entire Pretty close to it. spot. Yeah, from tip to tip we have walked a lot. So I think hours, yeah. hours and hours. Yeah, very, a uh, lot of stuff to do out here as it turns out. But I think we're going to head out now and again watch the uh, watch the Blue Angels from my car. There they go. Way off over there. And Jay ran back up the way that we came to get closer to see them take off. And I've kind of just been standing here seeing if he comes back. I don't know if he's coming back. <laughs> I don't know if he's coming back. He came back, everybody. He came back. Hi. <laughs> show and it better because we are now in the car heading back home so it doesn't matter anyway <laughs> but uh, thank you all so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed that I had a really good time actually uh, like I said this isn't like typically my thing but uh, they had a lot of stuff to do out here that wasn't just uh, looking at the planes in the sky you could also see the planes on the ground as well and, and walk through those and oh, they had a lot of uh, other vehicles and things like that up there too. So that was really cool. Um, yeah, we we had a really, really good time. Don't forget to, again, check out Tampa Jay's video as he is videoing oh. right now during my outro. It's the Blue Angels. <laughs> yep. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks, thank you. All right, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wild blue yonder, as they say.